My name is Jacob Abington. Welcome to LCN Channel 3's Jeopardy. To introduce our contestants, over here we have Mr. Wesley Palmer. Wesley was born and raised in Idaho, raised as a potato farmer due to his short but sturdy stature. He was a great fit for the farm life, but later turned to gambling and has spent his life in the casinos of Vegas since. Our next contestant is Garrett David Skinner. Boo. Gary is a professional babysitter. He enjoys cooking, spending time with children, and he enjoys playing basketball in his spare time. Next up, we have Danae Rosethorn. Danae is a 34-year-old single mother from South Detroit. She works at her local family dollar and loves to unicycle at her side job, McDonald's. Please give it up for our contestants today. Woo! We will start off our round of Jeopardy with Mr. Palmer. Mr. Yes. Palmer, please choose your category. Yes, Jacob. I'm very excited to be here. I'm going to go for Disney 600. Disney 600. Mr. Palmer. Or to the broader audience. What are Pocahontas' sidekicks? Do I need the name? <laughs> I know what they are, I don't know the name. The, the two little guys. <laughs> I believe I'm going to have to call time there. That's... Were they Indians? <laughs> Indians was not the answer. So, so go again. Yeah. Next up, Mr. Palmer, please choose again. Okay, I'm going to go for Disney 800. Disney for 800. Yes. Contestants, in Zootopia, what animal is Flash? Mr. Palmer. What is a sloth? Yeah, it is. That is correct, thank yeah. you. That is 800 points for Wesley Palmer. Please choose a category. Well, Jacob, I'm going to have to go for Sports 600. Sports for 600. Contestants, <laughs> who is the most accomplished tennis player in the world currently? Mr. Palmer. Who is Serena Williams? I'm correct. She's like I remember. Th I know this dude's name. I take all the points, right? She's like the only one I know. I'm gonna have to call time on that one. Okay, next up. All right, I get to keep it. Uh, um, geography 1000. Geography for 1000. What are the three largest countries in the world? Mr. Skinner. Oh wow. USA, Russia, and Canada. That would be incorrect. Oh, I didn't say what is it. By landmass? What other metric of We're going to have to be time. Mr. Palmer? Does it count? Yep, Mr. Palmer. Where are Russia, the United States of America, and Canada? That'd be incorrect. <laughs> Mr. Skinner, please choose a category. I will go Geography 800. Geography for 800. What is the largest by landmass U.S. state? Mr. Skinner. Where is Alaska? That is correct. That would be 800 points. <laughs> I will go Sports 1000. Mm. Sports for 1000. What is the top ranked college football team currently? Not WVU, I'll tell you that right now. Mr. Palmer. What is TCU? That would be incorrect, Mr. Palmer. The correct answer would be the Georgia Bulldogs. Back to you, Mr. Skinner. I will go for video games 600. Mm. What game won Steam's Labor of Love Award in 2021? Why? <laughs> I believe I'm going to have to call time. <laughs> Not late. The correct answer would be Terraria. What? Mr. Skinner, yeah, back to you. So. Uh, Alright, video games 200. Video games for 200. <laughs> What is the top selling video game of all time? Mr. Palmer. What is Tetris? That'd be incorrect. Dang it! I thought it was. Anything? What is Minecraft? That would be correct. Are you kidding me? Yeah! <laughs> just a surprise like not that long. 200. Oh. Alright, Miss Thorne, it is your pick. Teachers, 600. Teachers for 600. This teacher recently has performed in the Buchanan Theater play Clue. Mr. Palmer. Who is sec Mr. Segment? That would be correct. That is 600 points. Thank you, Mr. Palmer. Disney 1000. Jacob. Disney for 1000. 
Who is the first person or thing Alice meets in Wonderland? It's Thorn. What is Mad Hatter? Be incorrect. Oh. oh. Just go, just go, just go. Oh, bro, you. Mr. Skinner? Scarecrow guy. Oh, be incorrect. Mr. Palmer? What is the white rabbit? I'll be incorrect. What? what? No, is the answer? no points on the board. The, board. the correct it answer is. would be the door. But teachers, eight hundred. Who has worked as a lifeguard, weed eater, etc.? Mr. Palmer. Uh, who is Miss Ryder? That would be correct. Back to Miss Thorne. Okay. Zero category. Teachers, uh, thousand. Teachers for one thousand. Ready. Who used to work as an editor at this very high school? Miss Thorne. Who is Mrs. Balzer? That would be correct. Ooh. That is 1,000 points on the board. Miss Thorne, this is back to you. Teachers, 200. Teachers for 200. <laughs> this teacher coaches the LCHS boys basketball team. Miss Thorne. Who is Pudge? That would be correct. That is 200 points, Miss Thorne. Miss Thorne, back to you. Teachers, 400. Teachers for 400. I love these teachers. Now this closes out the categories. This teacher plays the drums in a band. Who is Mr. Harold? That would be correct. Oh, oh dang it. I completely forgot. Me too. What's missing? We close off our first category of teachers. Back to you, Miss Thorne. Music, 200. Music for 200. What singer holds the world record for most words in a hit single? Miss Thorne. Who is Eminem? That would be correct. I should have 200 like points. Back to you, Miss Thorne. Oh, Lord. Music 400. Music for 400. Who was the Billboard Top Female Artist of 2021? Ooh. Mr. Palmer. Who is Doja Cat? That would be incorrect. Yeah. Um. Can I guess again? We're going to have to call time. It was the on. correct answer would be Taylor Swift. Really? Are you kidding? Wow. Doesn't Back to you, Miss Thorne. Man. <laughs> Music 600. What is the highest ranked album of all time? Oh. 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 Miss Thorne. I can't believe I'm about to say Red by Taylor Swift. That would be incorrect. User or meta or, or critic? Yes. We're gonna have to call time. <laughs> Miss Thorne, we're back to you. Man. Music 800. <laughs> that would be the Daily Double contestants. Oh, I got this. What is Queen's biggest hit? Mr. Oh. Dang it. What is Bohemian Rhapsody? That's right. Mr. Skinner, we are back to you. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's do Geography 600. <laughs> How many Canadian provinces are there? Oh, I didn't know. I am guessing that. Mr. Skinner. What is five? That would be incorrect. I'm going to have to call time. The correct answer would be 13. Back to you, Mr. Skinner. <laughs> I'll take sports 800. <laughs> sports for 800. What NFL team is currently undefeated in the regular season? Not the Cowboys. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Mr. Skinner. I'm going to take a terrible guess. Please do. And just because uh, out of spite, the New Jersey Nets. You want to say that again? But... New Jersey Nets. New Jersey Nets. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that would be incorrect on several levels. <laughs> I know, I know I was incorrect. The correct answer would be the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh! Back Look, to you, Mr. Skinner. Better choose wisely. I'll tell you that right now. I'll take video games 1,000. Video games Minecraft. for 1,000. What was the exact release date of Minecraft? The exact? Like, month, the day, and year? Oh, heck no. I can tell you the year. That's about it. A year, yeah, exactly. I have to call time. Okay, well, we're going to go back to you, Mr. Skinner. Video games 800. Video games for 800. How many games have been released in the Call of Duty franchise? A lot. 
<laughs> That's for sure. More than two. Mr. Palmer, what is 12? <laughs> that would be incorrect. Dang. That's tough. I thought I knew that one. 12? Did you pull it out of your butt? 12 uh, back in 2010, maybe. <laughs> okay, back to you, Mr. Skinner. Let's do Geography 400. Geography for 400. What countries make up the subcontinent of Central America? <laughs> Mr. Palmer. What is Nicaragua, Belize, Panama? I don't know. Wakanda forever. That would be incorrect. <laughs> Back to you, Mr. Skinner. Alright, uh, Geography 200. What are the names of the five Great Lakes? Of what? That's Yuri, America? Yuri. That's the easiest question you have. <laughs> Back to you, Mr. Skinner. We all study for this so much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll do Sports 200. Who won the 2016 Baseball World Series? Jeez. Mr. Skinner. Come on. <laughs> the Cubs? That would be correct. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my God. It's 200 points for Mr. Skinner. We'll take this moment for a short commercial break while our contestants manage to uh, rearrange themselves. Hi, Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. Introducing ExoClean. ExoClean can get any stain off anything. Take, for example, this stain. It's a big stain, right? Pretty bad. I think that's going to take more than just a few scrubs and a wash. With ExoClean, you can get this stain right off. Wow, just like magic. Oh no! I had leftovers last night. What's up, hey, Ryder? What's up? Oh, oh no. no! Leftovers. Oh, wait, have you guys tried ExoClean? That'll get the stains right off. No way! Yeah! It actually works! Wow! Call 1 800 ISO clean for a bottle just for $15. Call in the next 5 minutes and get a second for free. Remember 1 800 ISO clean for a bottle just for $15. If you got a stain, don't be afraid. Get ISO clean right, right away. away! And we are back. Back with our contestants, looking on the scoreboard, we have Danae leading at 1,600 points, Garrett at 400 points, and Wesley at a rather pitiful zero points. Later. Back to you, Mr. Skinner. Alright, so let's do video games 400. What is the highest selling gaming console of all time? Mr. Palmer. What is the PlayStation 3? That is correct. Yeah. This finally, for the first time in the game, puts Mr. Palmer on the board. Thank you. Oh, sports for 400, Jacob. Sports for 400, yes. What city are the Celtics based out of? Mr. Skinner. What is Boston? That would be correct. Uh, Disney 400. Disney for 400. Where do Anna and Elsa live? Mr. Palmer. What is Arendelle? That would be correct. Yes. I'm gonna go for music for 1,000, Jacob. Music for 1,000. What is the oldest surviving musical instrument? <clears throat> Mr. Skinner. What is the Neanderthal flute? That would be correct. That's what? points for Mr. Skinner. <laughs> Final question. What is the name of the prince from Cinderella? <laughs> Who is Prince Charming? That would be correct. Oh, no. oh yeah! Final Jeopardy question. <laughs> this is going to be a closest answer gets it. Unless one of you get it. Okay. Okay. How many nations does the United Nations recognize in the world? I knew I should have watched Nation Wise on your side so much more. Mr. Palmer. Yes, sir. Let's see your answer. We have what is 52 for 1,000. Okay. Mr. Skinner? 197. What is 197 for 200? And Ms. Thorne? What is 35 for 100? So raise all your papers up. 
the closest to the correct answer would be <laughs> Mr. Garrett Skinner. The correct answer would be 195. Mr. Skinner guessed 197. Well done. Well done. Our winner is Mr. Garrett Skinner at 2,000 points. In second place, we have Danae Thorne at 1,800 points. And in last place, we have Mr. Wesley Palmer yeah. at 1,600 points. <laughs> thank you to all of our contestants. And of course, thank you to our studio audience for attending. <laughs> our two people in the three, four, I don't even know.